continue here with the uh, next can you explain uh, what uh, is a soul reading with a remote healing uh -huh. and light language sounding is uh, I'm laughing because I can illustrate it uh, I start wanting to sing um, but I will uh, describe so um it's the same uh, process that uh, I go when I do an image or when I do a, a reading. Um, I ask for a photograph of the person. Um, I find that assists. I don't need it, but um, that does assist. I think it, 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 it engages the other person. Um, uh, as well and um, I then ask for a highest aspect of them to come and talk to me to show themselves like uh, the, their um, their wise aspect their intuition more than their intuition a you can call it their oversoul or um, there's a experience that we are not just a human being on the 3D physical life, one life. In fact, linear time is, um, is superficial. It's not all that is. It is a hologram. It is um in a way not real in fact time is quantum there is there is not just one universe there's many universes the multiverse mm -hmm. and if because there's a lot now being talked about quantum time and quantum physics that um we are experiencing one uh view perspective of time what if there is no such thing as past present and future in fact there is now therefore different aspects different life times is uh running all the time it's in the now so it'd be more accurate to say that we don't have past lifetimes we have parallel lifetimes now, all this is a bit mind-blowing, literally. <laughs> so if you, if you start going along this thinking, you start, think, start sort of, which I have done, <laughs> along with having my experiences I've had, because you start, my, the mind starts trying to make sense, understand the experiences, because I've had several awakenings, which I couldn't make sense of. Mm -hmm. So... This is my long-winded way of answering the question. So I asked to go on a vision quest in, I think it was 2010. So I wanted to go uh, in the land, in the wilderness. I went in Wales so that I could listen to my soul, so I could get in tune with spirit. I could understand what my purpose of li living was. I could connect to the... Uh, the spirit to guide to to um, yeah the, the 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 reason why I, I was here to get messages to get in tune. Um, so I found myself there was a I was guided to this mountain. It was an amazing set of synchronistic events which were just um, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> And, and climb this mountain, <clears throat> which the myth is, if you find yourself and up, up the mountain, which is like a volcano with a lake, you sort of climb up it. If you sleep overnight by the lake, 
and you survive that <laughs> and you come back down, you either will be mad or a poet. So I thought that is definitely the place I'm meant to go. So I climbed the mountain, which was amazing. A lot of things happened. I was aware of spirit, uh, angel, divas of tree, spirits, fairies. Then I saw a sphinx. Um, there were things happening. <laughs> I got to the lake. I then lay down on a rock that kind of juts out onto the lake. And it was not just my inner vision. It was not just my, you could say, my imagination. I suddenly was, it was a vision. I was another universe. This won't make sense. And it did blow my brain. <laughs> another universe came into this universe, like superimposed. And there were these massive, giant, golden beings that were going up and up and up, and they were merged with these uh, sacred geometry quartz structures. And I've had a, you could call a near-death experience when I was a child. I came out of my body and felt God, heavenly light, because of the trauma I was having. I came out of my body, mm -hmm. and I knew then I remember as a child, I was very young, thinking, that's where you go when you die. I could go up there. It's really amazing. <laughs> Full of love and light and angels. <laughs> uh, I'm not ready to die yet. So I then I came back into my body. So in Wales, golden beings, I'm thinking, this isn't heaven. There's another universe suddenly here. What on earth is going on? <laughs> oh, my God. It just freaked me out. And I went, please, just go, just, you know. So <clears throat> when I call in, <laughs> I'm consciously assisting another person to bring in higher resonances and when we tune into higher resonances higher dimensions higher beings that include angelic they are bigger in my experience they are bigger so we're in 3d physical realm which is condensed it's heavier it's physical it's a certain bandwidth when you start opening up to more dimensions and bigger energies. It's literally bigger. It's lit energy, literally, <laughs> this is my experience. When I've experienced anything that's, I have had uh, amazing, it's like angelic resonances, they're huge. They are huge. So I, it takes time, in my experience, um, to call in those aspects which each of us have. Um, not only do we have like angelic guides, we have part of us, our soul, which is resonating in the higher dimensions, is already there. So I call that, that, that energy in and I know I'll go for long walks. I sit with the, I sit with them. I walk with them. I be with that energy for, for, for can be days or weeks. Um, and I say, okay, are you ready to be drawn? <laughs> and some, and I'm like, yes, they're ready. Everybody's ready. <laughs> and then I go to sit down and sometimes they're like, no, it just doesn't happen. I can't force it. I'm like, oh, so that was one aspect that needed to come in for them, for, for healing, to then another aspect. So sometimes with people, I have like a succession of aspects until I get to one, which is, okay, it's this one that needs to be, needs to speak, needs to relay information or needs an image. So um, with the writing of the soul reading, um, I find it is a bit quicker than an image <laughs> so far. 
I sit down and I li- I open up a bit more. I know when they when they're ready to cut, really ready, and I literally type. I hear what they they, they dictate to me, and I type it. They go blah 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 blah, and I go type 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 type. It's it's very easy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> La, 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 la. sometimes i need a break it can take two days three days because the energy with it i feel it a bit like when you felt the singing it has an impact on me because these okay. are big energies so yes. then i'm like okay that's enough now <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna put that down and i'm gonna go for a walk or come back to it next day i'm learning just because i can do this doesn't mean that i should be doing it all the you know i'd be like oh i may, might put it down switch the computer off go for a walk because i'm finding it's all a bit Ooh. so yeah 